It's toddy time. It's toddy time, yeah. Gail. Yeah, what's it going to be? Yeah, I was just telling Brendan that when we first opened our stores, this is like eight years ago. Wow. People were coming through the door. Do you have the toddy? And we were like, no, sorry. So nope. it's been around for a while. It's been around a long time, I think. But <laughs> Well, it's been really popular here when it's being so hot lately. Yeah. Uh, hot in the Northwest is above 70. Yeah, exactly. We've been sweating bullets. <laughs> yeah. But customer service has been loving it. Um, they're, they're drinking strictly cold brew Are from they? the toddy oh. out of the fridge every morning. I need to check with those guys down there and see what's going on. Yep. I see them in there. Yeah. Consistently going for the cold brew. Well, tell me about the, you know, tell me all about it because I know that this mm -hmm. is more of a, yeah. This is for of... your big barbecues or your commercial <laughs> size. This gives you about two and a half gallons, but yeah. this is your home model, exactly. right? Exactly. This is your home model. Um, it kind of comes with everything that you see right here. You got your plug, stopper, your filter, mm -hmm. um, kind of your lid for the carafe here, mm -hmm. um, and your brewer right here. And this handle comes off. Just like that, um, but yeah, I mean it's it's very simple. You can kind of see how it works, but yeah. this this sits right on top here. Yep. For when you're actually um, e extracting it and getting the coffee out. So you put coffee and water and coffee. It's coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, exactly. My accent just kind of slipped out there a little bit. So you know what you would do here simply, and we're, we're going to do this in a sec. But you have your stopper here. A plug. Yep. And your filter here. And that filter goes right down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You can see there's a little yeah. groove down there for it. Yep. Right above the stopper. Yep. And you just put that in. And that filter, I was noting, is very dense. Yes, it is. It's I mean, going it, to filter out it, a lot it, of it stuff. It feels like a piece of cloth. So the filter itself can last up to 10 times or three months. Mm -hmm. um, between uses, uh, you're supposed to keep it wet and keep it in the fridge airtight, like in a Ziploc bag or something. So it just keeps it um, from getting... Uh, Dried out. Who knows? Yeah. That's must, what well, if it's wet and it's in the bag in the fridge, it's going to not get all musty and nasty. Got it. But 10 uses and then you can get a replacement. Mm -hmm. And I guess you can get a replacement plug should that go down the garbage disposal. Exactly. Like a lot. Yeah, garbage disposals eat things. Yeah, they're not very nice like that. I uh, know. They eat things they're not supposed to. Gosh. Well, what do you think? Let's, uh, let's, let's do it. Let's go ahead and brew one. Yep. So in order to keep the filter in good condition and to prevent it from getting clogged, we want to put one cup of water in first. Mm -hmm. and then put in half of our coffee. Six ounces. Six ounces, yes. We're putting mm -hmm. in 12 ounces. Or, and we're doing a total of seven cups of water. So I'm going to start with one cup of water. Uh -huh. Let me see where I'm at here. Okay, that's about half a cup. With this one, you'd start with a bathing, uh, with a bathtub full. There we go. So <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? I get it. <laughs> and then we're going to do half of this. Yeah. And that, the, the grind on that is, uh, you right. were telling me, it's a lot like French press. Yeah. It's which a, kind of surprised me. Yeah, it's pretty coarse. Well, and what you explained, I, what I know of as cold brew, it's typically a little bit finer than that. But what was explained to me is the filter is so fine mm -hmm. that actually a little coarser grind yeah, works. It, it's very, uh, yeah, it's, it's very dense, that filter is. It's incredible mm -hmm. when you see that for the first time. Mm -hmm. I think that's about half right there. Yeah. We'll do a little bit more. Looking good. And then what we're going to do, let me do that a little bit, is we're going to pour in three cups now. Oh yeah, there's all that water. We're going to pour in three cups now. So what that does is putting in the water in first, it keeps that coffee from settling right down on that exactly, filter. Exactly, exactly. Because they do say that if you, if you do this right, you should never have to stir this. That's what Toddy recommends. Um, but, you know, in terms of the order of operations here, water before coffee. But if the filter got clogged up, you have to stir it a little bit. Give, give it a little soft stir, exactly. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to do three soft cups. Stir. <laughs> Be very gentle. So we're going to want this to go all the way down. Use the rest of this. Get that center. Get the center. Okay, okay you got it. Get you it. got it. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess up, Brendan. No, you never mess up. <laughs> And then you'll put in the last six ounces. Yep. And then after you have all your coffee in, let it steep for about five minutes. Five minutes, okay. And then after five minutes, then add the remainder of your uh, water. Which is what, another? Three cups. Another three cups. Yep. And then? And then we're looking at like a 12 ounce. Uh, 12 uh, to 24, sit in the fridge, let, yep. it, let it do its thing, steep. Yep. And then exactly. pull the plug. Exactly. Then you're ready to go. Yep. You think it's been five minutes? I think it's been five minutes. Let's add it up. Okay, perfect. So now we're ready for the last three cups of water. 
We right can... now, that looks like mud pie. Yeah, it really does. So we're going to just do this very gently over everything here. And then we're going to be ready. Sounds like uh, um, people in our uh, organization have been drinking a lot of this lately. Yeah, they have. From been. what I understand. Yep. I went away on vacation, so I wasn't privy to that, but now I'm back. I'm going to try it. Perfect. Ooh, it looks a little bit, it's kind of uh, blooming like other coffee would. Yeah, it almost like a, a pour over, totally. Yeah, it does. It looks, a, it's got that brownie look mm -hmm. like they do. Okay. So now we would just let this sit at room temperature Yep. Um, for 12 to 24 hours. I, know, I think we've been doing 18 here at mm -hmm. Seattle Coffee Gear. Um, and then, well, yeah, what's... Well, you, I was going to say, it doesn't come with a lid, so put yeah. some saran wrap or something yep. over it or, you know, whatever, a plate, paper towel. That is one of the cons that we had That's a this. con, yeah. They could make a plastic lid mm -hmm. that's the same product as that, same stuff. And stone. then here's, you know, here's your craft right here. This is something that we've already done that we're going to try here in a minute. Yep. But this just sits right <clears> on top. <throat> I mean, it just sits right on top. So yeah, when you're put done, that down on there. when you're done, you, you you're good right there. You pull that plug. Uh-huh. Oh, that is heavy. Pull the plug. Yep. Let her go, and then and let it drip. And it takes fifteen to twenty minutes. Yeah, it's kind of a slow, it's slow, a slow pour. process. But and, and one of the other cons, just while we're here, is pick this up just I know, with the handle. I did. That's a lot of weight for this removable handle to be handling, well, if you will. <laughs> for one thing, it hurts right up in there because it is a lot of weight, and yeah. the handle was going. Wah. Yep. It's a lot of weight. Totally. Well, so, the magic of filming. Yeah, exactly. Here's the real thing right here. Yeah. Okay. The yield is about. It, it comes up to about here on the carafe, mm -hmm. which is about, <clears throat> excuse me, four and a half cups. Yep. You're People here at SCG have already had some of this batch. I see that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know who approved that. Didn't go by my desk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of your area. What do you want to add? Oh, yeah. It's a concentrate. So it's two to one, three to one. One water of these. To coffee. Yeah. And it can be water to coffee if you're doing it. Uh, just a cold coffee, or mm -hmm. if you're adding milk, the milk can be one of the portions too. Got it. Oh, and you can make it hot. Oh, you could add hot water to it. I'm kind of more of a hot coffee guy, so that's good so, to know. So, this is vanilla. Okay. We're gonna make like a latte. Okay. What about this, this one? one? That's gonna be mm -mm, mm -mm, plain coffee. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So this one's me, and this one's you. We're gonna. This is me. <laughs> I'm the. Whatever you want. <laughs> I'm the milk person, <laughs> typically. So could I have the water over there, please? Of course, you got it. So I'm you gonna add a little of the toddy. Yeah, I spoon and I there. did try this without, as a concentrate, va va boom. Really? Yes, it's very, it's very uh, stout. That's good to know. I'm gonna add a little milk. Here's a spoon to stir. Okay. There. Wow. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. I'll let you try it. Not to worry. Get that syrup going. Mm -mm. A little more. I would add half and half. <laughs> As you know, <laughs> my reputation. All right. Okay, you try that one. I'm going to make one just with, just with a little coffee. I mean, with a little water. Water and coffee? Mm hmm. Yep. Probably go right about there. I don't typically do vanilla, but I bet you this is going to be good. It's almost lunchtime. This is my lunch. <laughs> That's concerning, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> Drink all my meals. Tonight it'll be insure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I want to try is... yours. Mm. So that was vanilla syrup. Very good. That's yummy. Wow, that, that actually is really, really That's good. That's very good. It's very, uh, it's nice, bold, uh, but smooth, mm -hmm. very smooth. The coffee from this is smooth. Yeah. Can I try that? That is really good. So I kind of went two to one there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could even, even for me, that's a little strong. Mm -hmm. I could add a little <laughs> Which water says a to lot. That. Yeah, because I like it. <laughs> bah, bah, boom. I like your high test coffee. <laughs> Oh, that's really yummy. I'll see you later. Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm Gail's gonna go, out. I'm going to go get a donut <laughs> to go with the vanilla. <laughs> I can see why this is such a popular product oh, in kind yeah. of the coffee industry. Yep. I mean, it's very easy. Um, you know, if you liked cold brew or, you know, hot coffee, mm -hmm. either way, you know, it's so quick. Um, yep. You could do this in about, you know, five, ten minutes the night before. Let it sit. Um, and then be all ready the next day. Well, and you're good for 
If you're Quite a, a single drinker and you drink maybe two cups a day, you're probably good for three days or yeah, so. At least. At least. If you drink a full one of those in a day, you got problems. Or one of those. Put the spigot up. To you. If you, yeah, if you're drinking one of those in a day, you need to invest in this one. <laughs> they use this in cafes. Yeah. This puts out about two and a half gallons. That's, in, that's and incredible. And one last thing about this mm -hmm. that I guess they talk about is you take that filter out of there and you rinse it really good in fresh water and get all the grounds and stuff out of it. Gotcha. And uh, leave it moist. Put it in a Ziploc bag or something like that that's airtight. And throw it in the refrigerator. Gotcha. And we suggest putting the plug with it so you oh, don't lose the plug. That makes sense. Just so you don't lose it. Kind of using them at the same time. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Gotcha. Yep. I'm really excited that we're carrying them now. Yeah. I'm probably actually going to get one of these for my house. Are you? Yep. Well, yeah, you have some roommates that yeah, like to steal exactly. your coffee. This'll, yeah, yeah. This'll, you know what? Don't tell them it's concentrated. Tell them that's yeah. the way you're supposed yeah. to drink it. I bet yeah. it'll, it'll keep Freshly them. brewed this morning, guys. I bet it'll keep them away from it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Brendan, for explaining the toddy. And I look forward to having this around my house as well. I'm glad you got to see it, Gail. Yeah, thanks. If you guys have any questions, give us a call here at Seattle Coffee Gear. Or check out our webpage, seattlecoffeegear.com. <laughs> I think that's what it is, huh? I think so. All right. Take care. It's toddy time. It's toddy time, yeah. Gail. Yeah, what's it? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I was just telling Brendan that when we first opened our stores, this is like eight years ago. Wow. People were coming through the door. Do you have the toddy? And we were like, no, sorry. So nope. it's been around for a while. It's been around a long time, I think. But <laughs> Well, it's been really popular here when it's being so hot lately. Yeah. Uh, hot in the Northwest is... Above 70. Yeah, exactly. We've been sweating bullets. <laughs> yeah. But customer service has been loving it. Um, they're, they're drinking strictly cold brew Are from they? the toddy oh. out of the fridge every morning. I need to check with those guys down there and see what's going on. Yep. I see them in there <laughs> yeah. consistently going for the cold brew. Well, tell me about the, you know, tell me all about it because I know that this mm -hmm. is more of a, yeah. this is for your big barbecues or your commercial <laughs> Size. This gives you about two and a half gallons, but yeah, this is your home model, exactly. right? Exactly. This is your home model. Um, it kind of comes with everything that you see right here. You got your plug, stopper, your filter, mm -hmm. um, kind of your lid for the cr 